Introduction The Interstellar Federation has entered the interstellar era, and cultivation has replaced technology as the mainstream. Flying to heaven and escaping to earth is no longer a dream, as long as one has the ability and resources, cultivation has no end. 1. Ho Chi You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The strong wind outside rustled the doors and windows, and Ho Chi lay in his own bed unable to sleep at all. Not only because of the strong wind outside, but also because I will turn 18 tomorrow. What did you do when you were 18 years old in your past life? I was also in high school. At that time, I was so carefree. My academic performance was among the top, valued by school teachers, and loved by my parents at home. It's not like being tormented in this place now. How did you actually come into this world? Ho Chi couldn't help but think of his past life. In my past life, my name was not Ho Chi, but Lin Guodong. My father was a department head in a state-owned factory, and my mother was a junior high school teacher. Since elementary school, Lin Guodong has been exceptionally intelligent and consistently ranks among the top in academic performance. So, middle school, high school, college, and Lin Guodong's life were all smooth and prosperous. After graduating from university, Lin Guodong was admitted to the civil service and assigned to the Cultural Bureau. At the age of less than 26, he became the deputy director of the municipal library, making him a winner in his life. Later, I was introduced to a girl surnamed Lu and was about to get married when the library caught fire and I didn't run out. The last memory was being knocked unconscious by the bookshelf, and when I woke up, I became a baby. And it has a new name, Ho Chi. Fortunately, what I saw when I opened my eyes was still the same as in my previous life. People with black hair and yellow skin were dressed similarly to modern times. Ho Chi thought to himself, maybe he didn't drink Mengpa soup when he was reincarnated. The child's energy was low, and Ho Chi spent most of his time sleeping. When he woke up, he cried when he was hungry, and his mother fed him milk. He goes to bed when he is full, plays on his own when he wakes up, and doesn't have to worry about his mother at all. Through months of observation and listening to others, he basically knows his situation. My birthplace is Muyun Star, not Earth anymore, but one of over 200 colonial planets under the Interstellar Federation. In this interstellar era, cultivation has become mainstream. Although technology has also developed, technology is mainly for martial artists and serves cultivation. When the ancestors of the Ho family captured Muyun Star, they made great contributions and were divided into a large territory by the Federation on Muyun Star. After development, the Ho family is now a big family on Muyun Star and has established a large city in their own territory, called Ho City. Surrounding 5,000 miles is the territory of the Ho family, which can be described as limitless scenery. At the beginning, Ho Chi was still very happy. At least his background in this life was good, and he couldn't go back anyway. Think about those time travel novels from my past life. I was born in a world of high martial arts and secretly swore to live a wonderful life, avoiding being ordinary and indifferent like my past life. What about my golden fingers? Ho Chi, apart from carrying memories from his past life, did not realize any difference in himself. But it's okay, he believes that with his own efforts, even without golden fingers, he can achieve something. Who knew that with the passage of time, Ho Chi realized that it was not the case at all. He was surnamed Ho and also the third young master of the Ho family, but no one really regarded him as the third young master of the Ho family. Because he was just a product of the drunken eldest son of the Marquis's mansion, from pregnancy onwards, Marquis Chi's mother Pang Fuping was a thorn in his wife Wang Wenxiao's eye and a thorn in her flesh. There was no change in Pang Fuping's status as a servant, as she had to work on a daily basis and was heavier than before. As for the young master Ho Chuanjiang, he had long forgotten who Pang Fuping was, so much so that after his child was born, it was only when someone told him that he remembered one thing. Having a son in a daze, Ho Chuanjiang felt no joy. The butler asked him the name of the child and casually said, let's call it Ho Chi. 
The butler arranged for Pang Fuping and her son to be placed in the most remote corner of the Ho's house, where a blind eye was considered clean. Because he felt that this child was a tool that Pang Fuping wanted to borrow to rise to power. He and Wang Wenxiao were afraid of causing trouble, so he regarded this child as a disgrace. Pang Fuping continued to work as a servant, earning a meager salary to support Ho Chi. Fortunately, Ho Chi carried memories from his past life and didn't cry or make a fuss. This also gave Pang Fuping great comfort in her heart, as the mother and son depended on each other. At the age of three, the other children in the Ho family began taking medicinal baths and standing up every day, laying a foundation for future cultivation. When Pang Fuping went to beg Wang Wenxiao for her son, she only got one sentence. That wild seed will also waste resources, don't even think about it. Die this heart. Pang Fuping had no choice but to go back and silently shed tears. Since having Ho Chi, her days at the Ho family have become increasingly difficult, and she has to do all kinds of dirty and tiring work. I originally hoped that Ho Chi could have a good future, but now he has no treatment that the descendants of the Ho family should enjoy. Under sadness, unable to get up. Ho Chi anxiously followed the ants on the hot pot, but to no avail. Although the butler finally brought in a doctor, Ho Chi's mother still passed away. According to legend, Pang Fuping also had the cultivation of cultivating her skin. She was still very young and wouldn't die so quickly, but her heart had already died. It was only after being stimulated by Wang Wenxiao that she fell ill and passed away in sorrow and anger. After Pang Fuping passed away, Ho Chi was only three years old. Still living in that remote courtyard, perhaps because Pang Fuping has died, Wang Wenxiao no longer cares about a three-year-old doll. After all, he is a descendant of the Marquis's family, so after his mother passed away, his life actually improved a lot. However, he also knows that he cannot let others know that he has memories of his past life. So he can only silently remember his mother's death in his heart. At school age, the other children of the Ho family attend the recognized best private school on Muyun Star. Hanwen College. And he can only attend federal public schools. The other members of the Ho family practice martial arts that have been passed down from their families. Yu Yu reads the secret method at www.yuyukeungshu.net. There is no worry about resource supply, and Ho Chi only cultivates the basic body refining techniques popular in the Federation, with no resources at all. Until now, Ho Chi had also thought about going out and wandering on his own, but in this place where military power determines everything, with his cultivation level of only practicing skin at the age of nearly 18, he may die at any time. At least in the Ho family, he didn't have to worry about food and clothing. In his past life, he was the deputy director of the library, and naturally had a lot of knowledge in his mind. When he was a child, he naively thought that he could rely on this knowledge to make people look at him. Unfortunately, he memorized the Taoist scriptures in his mind and didn't understand any martial arts secrets. Indeed, in his past life, reading travel novels was all a lie. Ho Chi was thinking about his experiences after coming to this world, listening to the storm outside. Tomorrow, according to tradition, the family will assign him a territory, and everything within the territory will be his own. But Ho Chi had no confidence in his heart, and his eldest wife Wang Wenxiao would not allow him to obtain any resources. Will there be a bigger blast waiting for him tomorrow? If there are no resources in my territory tomorrow, I will definitely not be able to pass the college entrance examination in a few months. Now I am the last crane in my class for thousands of years. The cultivation level is the lowest. Although cultural courses are excellent, during the college entrance examination, relying solely on cultural courses without cultivation level will not be accepted by any university. Ho Chi saw and heard the window ringing non-stop, thinking of something to block it. With a sigh, he got up from bed and looked at the house he had lived in for 18 years. To be honest, it was even worse than a servant's. Holding a wooden board, I tried to block the window and walked to the window. As expected, 
the window had already been blown open by the wind. As he approached the window and was about to close it, he saw a white light flickering in the pitch black sky. Ho Chi only felt a burst of pain in his head and fainted. In the dark night, the strong wind was raging, and no one noticed what was happening in the corner of the Marquis's mansion. 2. Memories You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day, Ho Chi slowly opened his eyes and sat up, feeling waves of pain in his head. Touching his own head, Ho Chi murmured, What happened last night? Why did I faint? He only remembers closing the window last night due to the strong wind. As a result, a white light flashed by and I knew nothing. Go to the bedroom, pick up the mirror and take a look. The thin face is slightly pale, but there are no wounds. As if remembering something, Ho Chi looked up at his watch and realized it was already past 10 o'clock. Oh no, today is my own birthday and also the day when my family divides territory. It's terrible. Without worrying about washing up, Ho Chi immediately ran towards the front courtyard hall. Along the way, I heard servants discussing one after another. Isn't this that lowly young master? Running so fast and rushing to die. Today is the day to divide his territory, and there is also Mrs. Have you heard about it? Yes, Miss has been allocated several mines with abundant production, more than the young master of wealth back then. What about the one that just passed? What are you saying? Ho Chi's heart sank as he listened to the servant's words. When Ho Chi arrived in the hall, the butler was left alone, and the others had already left. Ho Chi knew it was this result. The butler's surname is Li, and he is an old man who follows Ho Hengfei. Ho Chi quickly bowed to the butler and said, Grandpa Li, I'm sorry I'm late. Li, the butler, quickly stood up and said, Master Chi, you killed me. I was just planning to send you this land deed. He handed a chip-like object in his hand to Ho Chi. After Ho Chi took over, he heard Li Butler say, This territory was bought for you by the young lady. Originally, the young master meant to hope that Mr. Chi could go out and establish his own family, but after the young lady requested it from the old master, this territory was obtained. I hope Mr. Chi will not forget the young lady's friendship. The young master is Ho Chi's chief father. Ho Chuan Jiang. And the young lady is Ho Qing Fang, the daughter of Wang Wenxiu, who is the same year as Ho Chi. Ho Chi quickly said, I remember, thank Grandpa Li. Li, the butler, seemed very satisfied with Ho Chi Qian Gong and said, Master Chi is already 18 years old and will also take the college entrance examination this year. The young master's meaning is that since he has his own territory, Master Chi should manage it well. After the college entrance examination, let's go to his own territory. After that, without waiting for what Ho Chi said, he walked out on his own. Ho Chi held the chip of the land deed and thought to the butler, I didn't expect it to be Ho Qing Fang who helped him intercede. If Ho Chi had any good feelings for anyone in the Ho family, it would be Ho Qing Fang. Before the age of twelve, Ho Qing Fang often went to his small courtyard. You should know that except for Butler Li who occasionally goes to see if he is still alive, almost no one goes to that small courtyard, afraid of being hated by the eldest lady. Because Ho Chi can be considered a thorn in the heart of Madam. Over time, the wound has healed, but as long as the thorn is still there, it hurts when touched. Especially after the second wife Chu Jiang entered the Ho family, the eldest wife Wang Wenxiu had a bad temper. But Ho Qing Fang is not one of them. I still remember when Ho Chi returned from school at the age of six and just wanted to go to the cafeteria for a meal. I heard a sweet-looking little girl enter my yard, and Ho Chi was surprised that ordinary people wouldn't come to my place. Just as she was about to speak, the little girl asked, Who are you and why do you live here? Ho Chi saw a little girl without anyone else and said, This is my home. Who are you? How did you come here? The little girl looked at Ho Chi in front of her and said, I am Ho Qing Fang, and you. Of course Ho Chi knew who Ho Qing Fang was, his sister, but she was the pearl in her palm. 
It is said that even the head of the family, Ho Heng Fei, liked this granddaughter very much. I haven't even seen the head of my family before. There is no spring festival here, but there are big holidays like Victory Day, and every time there is a holiday, no one ever calls themselves. Ho Chi thought of this and said, I'm Ho Chi. Hello. Then he walked out. He still had to go eat, and when he arrived late, he didn't even have any leftovers. Ho Ching Fang saw Ho Chi talking to her and was about to leave. She finally found a playmate of her age and couldn't let him go like that. So she opened her hands and blocked Ho Chi's way, saying, Why are you going? Don't go. Ho Chi saw that she couldn't leave, so she said, I want to go to the cafeteria for dinner. If it's late, it won't be there. You move away. Ho Ching Fang saw that Ho Chi was not afraid of herself at all, which was different from the usual classmates in those schools. She was the top student in the school, so she said, You want to play with me, otherwise I'll tell my grandfather that you bullied me. She finished speaking with a coquettish expression. Upon hearing this, Ho Chi thought to himself that if Ho Ching Fang really went to complain, he didn't know what the whole family would do to him. At least Wang Wenxiu wouldn't let herself go. So he said, I really want to go eat, so I can play with you after dinner and tell you stories. How about that? Ho Chi thought that the children should be easy to coax, so it was important to go eat first, no matter what. As soon as she heard that there was still a story to listen to, Ho Ching Fang said, Really, just play with me after dinner and tell me stories. Ho Chi immediately said, Of course it's true. I don't cheat people in the jungle. Ho Ching Fang took out a small box from the bag and handed it to Ho Chi, saying, Eat it for you and tell me a story after eating it. Ho Chi received it and saw that it was full of food, including dried meat, preserved fruit, dim sum, etc. Smelling so fragrant, Ho Chi's mouth watered. Ho Ching Fang said, there are dried wind deer meat, preserved apricots and dim sum inside. Enough for you to eat. Hurry up and tell me stories after eating. Okay, Ho Chi immediately said. He has never heard of these things, let alone eaten them. He immediately picked up and started eating. After finishing, he felt a fever all over his body. Ho Chi immediately guided the heat flow according to the school's teaching method to wash the skin and practice it. In just a short while, I feel my skin tighten and turn red. At this moment, Ho Ching Fang's dissatisfied voice came. You finished eating, why are you still practicing? Hurry up and tell me a story. Ho Chi could only stop practicing and said, What kind of story do you want to hear? Ho Ching Fang thought for a moment and said, I want to hear a story about a princess. Ho Chi couldn't help but think for a moment and said, Then I'll tell a story about the seven dwarves and Snow White. Then Ho Chi transformed into a porter and told Ho Ching Fang the story of the famous Snow White in his past life. Ho Ching Fang listened intently, and soon Ho Chi finished speaking. Seeing that Ho Ching Fang was still immersed in the fantasies of the prince and princess, Ho Chi saw that it was time for school in the afternoon. So he said, I'm going to school, that's all for today. Ho Ching Fang regained her senses and said, I'm going to school too. Let's go together. When we get to school, you can tell me a story. Ho Chi said, I am studying in a public school, not the same school as you. Ah, well, then I'll come find you after school, Ho Ching Fang said persistently. Ho Chi's face twitched slightly and he said, let's talk about it. But when it comes to telling you stories, it's best not to tell anyone else, otherwise you won't be able to hear my stories anymore. Ho Ching Fang happily agreed, okay, this is our secret and you're not allowed to say it either. After speaking, she bounced away. Ho Chi looked at the food box in his hand and shouted, You forgot something, your food box. I gave it to you. The voice came from afar. From then on, whenever Ho Ching Fang had time, she would come to play with Ho Chi and pester him to tell her stories. There are countless stories about the essence of 5,000 years of Chinese culture. 
Ho Chi also looks forward to having a playmate. Although he is already in his thirties, his body is still a child, and he can learn a lot about what has happened in the whole family from Ho Chin Fang. As Ho Chin Fang grew older, she knew that Ho Chi was her younger brother. I also knew that my mother was extremely disgusted with Ho Chi, and gradually she didn't come. Especially after entering high school, my cultivation became increasingly tight. Ho Ching Fang never came to her own courtyard again. Ho Chi thought she had already forgotten about herself. Unexpectedly, she spoke for herself in the allocation of family territory this time. Although Ho Chi gave up hope, when he returned to his own room, he still took out the chip and put it into his personal terminal to see where his territory was. Upon opening it, it turned out that the territory assigned to him was located more than 200 miles east of Hocheng, leaning against the sea. The area is only 5 miles, half of which is a swamp by the sea, and the other half is arable land, but it is relatively barren and can only grow some brown rice. By the sea, Ho Chi should be happy. After thinking too much, this is not the earth of the past life. There are intelligent creatures living in the vast sea of Muyun Star, known as the Sea Beast Clan, due to their large size. They are powerful, but they rarely go ashore, but they do not allow people to obtain resources from the sea. The Federation tried to conquer them through several wars, but they all ended in failure. They had no choice but to sign a contract. The sea beasts will not go ashore, but the humans are not allowed to go into the sea to hunt for resources. Otherwise, they will be pursued. The king of the sea beast clan possesses the highest combat power that is no weaker than humans, so it can only be done in this way. The ocean is a forbidden zone for humans on Muyun Star. It seems that the territory obtained by Ho Chi is only a few hectares of land. There are no minerals, herbs, etc. It seems that you want me to starve and not have any resources to cultivate. Ho Chi thought to himself. Although he didn't have any hope, he still felt a wave of frustration after knowing the result. Is this all I have in my life? Ho Chi came to this high martial world and wanted to stand at the pinnacle to see and enjoy his grudges. I also want to go and see the universe of all races. Unfortunately, he was hit hard by reality. I may be the saddest traveler, right? I want to be a farmer for the rest of my life. I'll farm for the rest of my life. With a headache, Ho Chi fainted again. If anyone sees it, they will notice a bright white light on Ho Chi's forehead. 3. Plant Gene Modifier You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After Ho Chi fainted, it seemed as if he had entered a space full of technological elements. In the center, there was a crystal with many facets suspended, presenting a bright silver color and sparkling. Surrounded by crystal-like panels. Ho Chi Zheng stood in front of the polyhedral crystal. Ho Chi observed for a while, and it seemed that there were no other people in the entire space, so he shouted loudly, Is anyone there? Suddenly, a line of text appeared in front of him, which was from a previous life on Earth. Soul binding completed, welcome master to visit the plant genetic modification space, the plant genetic modification space is the ultimate technological product of the only ninth level civilization in the universe. The Divine Tree Empire With the modification space, you can cultivate any plant you can imagine. By cultivating plants, you can receive rewards from the empire's energy points, thereby unlocking more functions of the space. This space dot. When Ho Chi woke up, his mind was still confused. It turned out that the reason he fainted last night was because he was hit by a plant genetic modifier. Then the transformer was bound to his own soul, and although he had the strength of his two lifetimes, he couldn't bear it and fell into a deep coma for a while. Ho Chi also knows the origin of the plant gene modifier. At the center of the highest dimension of the universe, there is a divine tree that takes root in the entire universe, giving birth to an empire of eighth-level civilization in the universe. The Divine Tree Empire The Divine Tree Empire has been striving for the promotion of the ninth-level civilization for many centuries. But the fundamental divine tree of the Divine Tree Empire has stopped growing, 
so it cannot be promoted to level 9 civilization for a long time. In order to help the Divine Tree, the High Priest of the Empire communicated with the Divine Tree and created 10,081 plant gene modifiers, of which 10080 were deployed to various planes in the universe to collect information and characteristics of plants on each plane and see if it could help the Divine Tree grow. Ho Chi didn't expect that in the most despondent moment, God would give him such a big gift package, and his heart was extremely excited. However, the initial modifier had only one level of energy and only two functions for modification and grafting. As for advanced functions, evolution, combination, etc., it requires secondary energy. These sources of energy can only be provided by the Divine Tree Empire. As for how to provide it, it depends on whether the plants you bring into the modification space are helpful to the Divine Tree, and it also depends on your imagination. If you can cultivate this unique plant in the universe, the feedback from the empire will definitely exceed your imagination. You should know that the power of plant gene modifiers not only allows for gene modification, but also has many uses. What is the concept of level 8 civilization? The modifier did not introduce it, but it shows that the federation where Ho Chi is located is a level 3 civilization, which is the plain civilization. By comparison, we can see the terrifying nature of the 8th level civilization. Anyway, Ho Chi's heart is now filled with excitement. What is his biggest advantage when he comes to this world? It is the cultural inheritance of China for 5,000 years. But in this world dominated by cultivation, he couldn't find a way to leverage his own strengths. After living for 18 years, the only chance to showcase it was to tell a story to Ho Chi Fang. But now that I have a plant gene modifier, I finally have a place to showcase my strengths. The Cultivation System of the Federation Body Refining Realm Internal Qi Realm Primitive Spirit Realm Separation Spirit Realm Void Realm Broken Realm Ascension Realm The state of refining the body is divided into five stages. Refining the skin, refining the flesh, refining the tendons, refining the bones, and refining the marrow. In the stage of refining the body, qi and blood are the most important. The source of qi and blood is obtained through self-cultivation techniques. This requires resources to supply, and without resources, you don't have enough qi and blood to cultivate. The realm naturally stops moving forward. But with resources, it's much easier to refine qi and blood. Before the state of distraction, you were unable to absorb cosmic energy, and cultivation relied entirely on resources. That's why the Federation continued to expand outward to obtain sufficient resources for cultivation. Ho Chi used to be unable to access any resources. At the age of 18, most of his classmates in the middle school department practiced meat at the lowest level. However, Ho Chi only practiced skin, which was brought to him by Ho Chin Fong when he was a child. At that time, he made some progress. However, when Ho Chin Fong did not come, Ho Chi only had enough food to eat in the cafeteria. Other people can also obtain cultivation resources from the Ho family, but Ho Chi has none at all. The division of territory this time, Ho Chuan Jiang's intention is not to divide any territory of Ho Chi, let him live in the Ho family and wait for death. Later, due to Ho Qingfang's plea, the divided territories had no resources for cultivation and only solved the problem of food and clothing. Moreover, they also drove Ho Qiming out of the Ho family with integrity. Why not do it? However, fate is always magical. Ho Qi obtained a plant gene modifier, and others may have only modified existing plants, because the culture of the Federation only serves martial arts, and for others, such as literature, it can be said to be quite barren. But Ho Chi is different. The development of culture in previous lives can be said to be brilliant and brilliant. Some plants that others may not have thought of, Ho Chi here has countless legendary plants in his imagination. Leaving aside the top 10 legendary spiritual roots, even some spiritual creatures from novels can be cultivated by themselves. Ho Chi walked over excitedly in his own room. 
After finally calming down, he calmed down a bit. Thinking of, I still can't be too impatient. The most important thing at present is to improve my cultivation as soon as possible, otherwise I will definitely not be able to go to college. In the Federation, just like in previous lives, going to university is an opportunity for a person to change their destiny in the best way for poor children to advance. Because all advanced martial arts are monopolized by the Federation, the highest martial arts in each family are only those in the realm of distraction. To further obtain the martial arts in the void realm, there are two ways. First, you have made a great contribution to the Federation, and second, you have broken through the limitations of the martial arts and successfully advanced to the void realm. So naturally ranking as a member of parliament can lead to the following techniques. Ho Chi wants to cultivate smoothly in the future and has no worries about resources, but he still needs to go to university to obtain the cultivation techniques. So the top priority is to improve one's cultivation level. Thinking of this, Ho Chi didn't have time for lunch and picked up the territory chip and ran to school. Upon arriving at school, Ho Chi immediately went to the class teacher's office to ask for leave. Public school teaching is basically about teachers leaving their classes unattended. The leave went smoothly, and after leaving school, Ho Chi got on the car heading towards his own territory. He can't wait to see his territory. Although there is an introduction on the chip, seeing is believing. As the car leaves the city, the fewer people on the road as it gets further away from the city. However, as it was the territory of the Ho family, the car still arrived at the territory allocated to Ho Chi. Getting off the car, before Ho Chi could say anything, the car had already driven away. This is not to blame the driver, because no one would come here normally. Looking at the area surrounded by the laser barrier in front of him, his emotions were very complicated. It seems that the family's actions are still very fast. This morning, just after the distribution was completed, laser protection was immediately installed. On the one hand, it was to let him clearly know the scope of his territory, and on the other hand, it was also to protect the beasts of Mu Yunxing. After calming down, Ho Chi picked up the chip and walked to a laser door to insert it. After authentication, the laser door closed and Ho Chi walked into his own territory. 4. Current Situation and Planning You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Entering the territory, Ho Chi found that there was no one there, and all the people who were originally here had already left. Since this territory was assigned to Ho Chi, Everyone in the territory has been arranged to leave by the Ho family. However, it doesn't matter. In this era of endless farming, machinery has completely replaced human labor. If there is no one, artificial intelligence can also automatically sow and harvest. Besides, it turns out that this place only grows some everyday rice that ordinary people eat. It's similar to chicken ribs, and usually only arranges for two elderly people to stay here. The harvested rice is also for the servants of the Ho family to eat. The cosmic energy of Muyun Star is rich, with tall and lush plants, and ordinary trees are over 20 meters tall. Beasts, in terms of species and quantity, are several times larger than those of Earth in the past. However, humans are still at the top of the food chain, as most ferocious beasts practice skin and meat on par with humans. Those large and powerful ones were already almost killed and the Federation captured this planet. The most remaining are things that people can deal with. There is basically nothing else in the territory. There is a small house to the south, with arable land behind it. To the east, there are mostly mud and swamps caused by seawater erosion of the land. You can see the sea at a glance from the west gate, the sea of Muyun Star Ho Chi looked at the mud pits one by one. While the vast beaches on earth were either sandy beaches or cliffs, most of them were swamps on Mu Yun Star. Unless we put in a lot of effort to reclaim land from the sea and block the impact of the waves. Otherwise, you will have to let it go. However, at the moment, he has no other choice. The top priority is to see what the arable land is like. Walk along a small path to the small house next to the cultivated land, there are three rooms, 
and the doors are all open. Take a look at each one. There are three rooms, and the middle one is the sleeping area. There are two beds in the room, indicating that there were originally two people. One table, two chairs. Also, the control center of artificial intelligence is located in this room. However, the personal belongings in the room have been cleaned up, which means that Ho Chi can move in as long as he carries his luggage. The place on the left is for cooking, and it is also intelligent. You don't need to do it yourself to cook ordinary meals. The room on the right has some simple exercise equipment, which was unexpected for Ho Chi as they were not moved away. Overall, Ho Chi is still very satisfied with the house, which is much stronger than the place he currently lives in. This belongs entirely to him. He feels that the air is free, no longer feeling oppressed, and no longer worried about being kicked out one day. After looking at the house, Ho Chi immediately went to the cultivated land behind the house. The land had already been plowed, and now this season is the beginning of planting. The Ho family originally planned to divide the territory a few days earlier, but Ho Chi's birthday was on these days, so it was set on his birthday to allow him to go out independently. If it were delayed by a year, then he would have to pay a high price for Ho Chuanjiang and his team to send Ho Chi to school this year's college entrance examination, which Wang Wenxiu absolutely does not allow. But there is also an ancestor in the family who said that the children of the family must be admitted to university. Although it has been decades and the ancestor Ho Renhui has not returned, no one dares to turn his words in the face, so Butler Lee came up with such an idea. Divide the territory and let Ho Chi rise and fall on his own, so that even if his ancestors come back, they can still have a say. As for Ho Qingfang's plea, there was indeed such a thing. Originally, according to Ho Chuanjiang's intention, it was to confine Ho Chi at home or simply send him to a deserted place. However, Ho Qingfang's plea led to the division of a territory near the seaside. These twists and turns are unknown to Ho Chi. Walking to the edge of the cultivated land, it roughly appears that the area of plowing is about eight acres in size. During Ho Chi's past life, he did not actually cultivate land, but he read a lot of books and had rich theoretical knowledge. There is no mention of using fertilizer on Muyun Star, but due to the abundant energy in the universe, the land appears black-brown. If placed on Earth in a previous life, this would definitely be a first dot class and excellent place. However, here, the land that can grow and help with cultivation is the best place. Ho Chi's territory is at the level of wasteland, just plant some water cloud rice. Ho Chi's staple food in the Ho family cafeteria is Shui Yun rice. This type of rice can grow as long as seeds are sown, and the harvesting cycle is short. It can mature in about 45 days and yield over 2,000 kilograms per mu. This type of rice is about the size of a soybean, transparent in color, and resembles a cloud formed by water vapor in the middle, hence the name Shui Yun rice. Not to mention the delicious taste of rice made from this kind of rice. No matter how much you eat, it's just enough to be full. It doesn't help in refining qi and blood. Ho Chi returned to the room thinking about what he needed to plant in order to break through his cultivation in the shortest possible time. He is almost in the middle of his skin training now. In the stage of skin training, the first thing to learn is the application of qi and blood, as well as the methods of refining qi and blood. Use qi, blood, and external objects to practice skin. Speaking of which, practicing skin is the simplest way to cultivate, but it is also the most difficult for people like Ho Chi. Because relying solely on qi and blood is not enough for skin training, and external help is also necessary to achieve great success in skin training. The external force here refers to some body refining medicines and other things. Muyin Star is rich in a cultivation resource called body strengthening grass. The medicinal liquid made from body strengthening grass is an excellent aid in refining the body and internal qi stage. So in the major families of Muyun Star, they all have their own plantations for strong grass. Millions of kilograms of strong body grass are produced every year, but the supply of strong body grass still exceeds demand. 
For this purpose, the federal government has also established a research department to try transplanting the strong body grass to other planets for cultivation, but unfortunately all failed. Fortunately, the strong body grass is not irreplaceable, otherwise I'm afraid Mu Yun Xing would never have a quiet day. Ho Chi has only seen the strong body grass, which is very similar to the Jie, Jie grass in his previous life, but it has only grown much larger. The other members of the Ho family have been using body strengthening fluids since the age of three. Ho Chi's mother passed away after being humiliated by the eldest lady in order to seek resources for her son's body strengthening liquid. Ho Chi will never forget the way his mother looked at him when she passed away. Reluctant, desperate, and worried, she thought Ho Chi didn't understand, but in fact, Ho Chi knew everything and only hated herself for being powerless. If it weren't for the cultural cultivation of his past life, Ho Chi himself would have gone crazy long ago. Now with the genetic modification machine, we have this territory. He finally gained temporary freedom. As for what to plant, Ho Chi had already thought about it, and he decided to use the plant gene modifier as his main goal for the first time. But first, we need to get the seeds of the strong body grass. The seeds of the strong body grass cannot be bought, it's not that they are expensive, it's just that buying them by ordinary people is not very useful. The places where strong grass can grow have been divided among major families. What's the use of buying seeds? But the whole family has it, Ho Chi thought to himself, he still needs to go find Butler Lee to get it. Ho Chi noticed that the sky was still early, so he happened to return to the Marquis' mansion to see if he could get the seeds of the strong body grass from Butler Lee. As soon as he thought about it, Ho Chi immediately turned back. After leaving the laser door, Ho Chi remembered that the general car market wouldn't come here. I didn't know how the people living here would get back, but now I can only walk on two legs to the nearest bus stop. After walking nearly twenty miles, Ho Chi saw a car and got in, thinking that it would be inconvenient in the future. I don't have the money to buy a car myself, so I have to find a way out in the future. 5. Move out of the Ho family. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ho Chi thought about getting a bicycle out, but in the blink of an eye, he gave up the idea. People now can fly in the sky within the planet when their cultivation reaches the Yuanshan realm, so vehicles are the first choice for those with low cultivation, and the fastest speed of vehicles has already exceeded the sound speed. So things like bicycles can't even get on the road. Ho Chi thought to start with this, and once his cultivation level improves, it will be fine. Upon arriving at the Ho family, Ho Chi entered his small courtyard through the back door as usual. Looking at the courtyard where he had lived for 18 years, Ho Chi's feelings for this place were really complicated. Before the age of three, although life was difficult, he still had his mother to accompany him for a lifetime, and he had happiness, expectations, and so on. After the age of three, all I have here is endless oppression. I seem to have fallen into a big black hole, and no matter how hard I struggle, it's useless. Moreover, I dare not have any struggle. Now that I am finally leaving, my heart is filled with emotions. This is the first step taken by oneself, and one must firmly step forward. Returning to the room, Ho Chi took out a box from under his pillow, which contained a credit point chip and his mother's ashes, which were left for him by his mother. Ho Chi knew that there were about 40,000 credit points in the chip, all of which were his mother's salary at the Ho family. Ho Chi has always kept it and has not used it. If you buy resources with 40,000 credit points, there won't be much, but ordinary people can use it for a few years. This is the only thing left by my mother, and it is also a thought of Ho Chi. As for the ashes of his mother, Lee Butler was supposed to bury them as usual, but he was held by Ho Chi, who was three years old at the time, and did not let go. Lee Butler gave up. Now Ho Chi's main task is to take these two things away. Looking at the box, Ho Chi remembered Pang Fuping's voice and appearance. He whispered, Mom, we're leaving. Don't worry, I'll make the person who harmed you pay the price. Wait. He touched the box, placed it on the table, and began packing his luggage. 
After thinking for a moment, Ho Chi opened the box again, took out his mother's credit point chip, and put it in his pocket. After leaving the door, Ho Chi walked straight towards the front yard. Ho Chi has heard others say that at this point, Butler Lee usually stays at the warehouse, watching various materials enter and exit the warehouse. So disregarding the gaze of the others in the Marquis's mansion, he walked straight towards the warehouse. Sure enough, we have arrived at the warehouse, and Manager Lee is indeed here. Ho Chi went over and said, Hello, Butler Lee. Butler Lee turned around to see him and said, It turned out to be the third young master. What is the young master doing here in the warehouse? Ho Chi replied, Stewardly, I just went to see the family's division of my territory, and the land over there has already been plowed. I came here specifically to thank the steward. Also, I want to move over today, but I don't have the seeds for farming yet. I want to borrow some from the family first. Also, Steward Lee, can you give me a bag of strong grass seeds? Lee, the butler, began to hear that Ho Chi was about to move out with a smile on his face. However, when he heard about the seeds of the strong body grass, his face darkened slightly. He tried to ask, Young master, do you want to cultivate it yourself? Ho Chi smiled bitterly and said, I have given up on cultivation. There will be a few more before the college entrance examination. I am the last one at this age and there will be no universities to accept it. I want to order the seeds of the strong body grass to see if it can be grown in my territory. Lee, the butler, thought about it and felt relieved. He said, Young master, you don't have to be discouraged. If you don't practice martial arts, you can do something else. You stay here for a while, and I'll go get it for you. After finishing, he walked towards the warehouse. The manager of the warehouse is named Lu Xu Chun, who is the confidant of the homeowner. Seeing Butler Lee come in, he said, Didn't you keep counting the numbers outside? Why did you come in? Stop talking nonsense, bring me a bag of seeds from Shueyun rice and a bag of seeds from Qiangshan grass. The two have known each other for decades and their cooperation is also very tacit. Lu Xuchun didn't hesitate and said, Didn't you see that I was busy? You go and get it yourself, but our cultivated land has already been planted. What are you doing with the seeds? Lee Butler casually said, This is for Ho Chi. After Lee Butler left, Lu Xuchun said, I remember that the territory allocated to him is not suitable for growing strong body grass. Poor child, forget it, the seeds of strong body grass are not worth anything. After finishing his busy schedule, he also had to prepare all the resources of the whole family tonight. Lee, the butler, quickly took out two bags and handed them to Ho Chi, saying, Master Chi, now he is also a person with a new industry. If he manages his territory independently, he will not worry about food and clothing. But Master Chi, don't forget your roots. Ho Chi knew that it was Butler Lee knocking on him. So he continued, how could that be? Maybe we'll have to trouble Butler Lee in the future. Lee, the butler, was very satisfied with his attitude and said, hurry up and plant the Shueyun rice. If it's too late, it will affect the harvest. Ho Chi said goodbye immediately, take me, thank you, the butler. After saying this, he turned around and walked towards his own courtyard. Taking the prepared luggage, without hesitation, he walked out of the Ho family's door through the back door. Ho Chi didn't look back and thought to himself, wait, I'll come back and never use the back door again. While passing by a supermarket, Ho Chi went in and bought several months of food and daily necessities. Under the diverse gaze of passers-by, carrying food and vegetables, and carrying luggage in hand, I got onto the car. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net After Ho Chi got on the car, a person walked towards the Ho family as if nothing had happened, and in no time, the person arrived at the room of Butler Lee. There is another person in the room besides Butler Lee, let's all talk about it, said Butler Lee. The person following Ho Chi said, Master Chi, after taking his luggage, he went to the supermarket to buy enough food for several months and then got on the car to his territory. He didn't do anything else. 
Another person said, I went to Master Chi's small courtyard and it was quite clean. Apart from my luggage, I didn't take anything else with me. After the two finished speaking, Butler Lee said, All right, you guys go out. Remember not to talk too much. After the two of them left, Butler Lee walked towards the front yard. He wants to tell Ho Heng Fei about Ho Chi's move out, and also Ho Chuan Jiang. As expected, both of them had similar reactions and just said, I know, and it was over. There is no indication. After reporting, Butler Lee forgot about this matter. There are still many matters waiting for him in the Ho family. There's no time to ponder over Ho Chi, this abandoned son. Speaking of Ho Chi, when he arrived at the laser door in his own territory, he put down his things and picked up the small box, saying, Mom, this will be our home from now on. You can just wait and see your son. We must make Ho Chuan Jiang and Wang Wenxiu, this couple of dogs, pay the price. After speaking, he took out the chip and opened the laser door, carrying luggage and food, and walked in. After packing up, Ho Qijin placed the box containing the ashes of his mother Sheng on the prepared incense table. He wants to remember his mother in his own way. Wait until everything is done. Ho Qi picked up the seeds of cloud rice and strong body grass and entered the modification space. When he placed the seeds of cloud rice on the middle crystal, the screens around the entire space are bright. And then it's all densely packed. 6. Strong Body Rice You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the surrounding screen, there are fragments of the genes of Shueyun rice, all annotated with the words of the previous earth. Ho Chi not only sighed, the modifier really knows my heart, but although he was reborn in this world for 18 years, he really lacks a sense of belonging to this world. The modifier displays Chinese characters that match his heart. Looking at the explanations of various gene fragments on the surrounding screens, some genes are tube growing, some are tube breeding, covering everything. At this moment, the original panel appeared in front of Ho Chi, which read, Shueyun Rice, a plant of the Poaceae family, has a growth cycle of 45 days and can evolve and modify. The current level energy is 100 quarks. When Ho Chi clicked on the evolution button, the panel immediately changed to the current plant evolution is expected to cost 80 energy, with zero feedback energy. This cost is also too much. However, thinking about it is also true that in terms of evolution, some plant medicines can only evolve after millions of years. Now, this process is completed instantly with higher energy. The first level of 80 quarts of energy is not very much, but Ho Chi only has 100 quarts of energy, and the panel said that there is no energy feedback, which means that the receiving end of the water cloud rice gene divine tree empire does not receive it at all. Ho Chi gave up the option of evolution, now is not the time to satisfy his curiosity. After thinking for a moment, Ho Chi left the editing space and picked up the seed of the strong body grass given by Manager Li. With a thought, he returned to the editing space. Ho Chi knew that besides his mental body, only plants could bring in, and as expected, the seed in his hand was indeed a strong body grass. Just like the feeling outside, I placed the seed on the middle crystal, and sure enough, all the gene fragments and explanations of the strong body grass appeared on the surrounding screens, not interfering with the Shueyun rice, making a clear distinction. In front of Ho Chi, another panel appeared, which read, Strong Body Grass, Herbaceous Plant, 180-day growth cycle, can evolve and modify, current level energy is 100 quarts. Ho Chi clicked on evolution this time, and the panel prompted, current energy is insufficient, unable to evolve. He thought to himself, I knew the energy for the evolution of the strong body grass was not enough. Fortunately, he had already planned, and based on his past life experience, hybridization was the way. So Ho Chi said, find out the gene fragments that are helpful for cultivation with the strong body grass. After speaking, the crystal in the middle lit up, and 24 fragments that are helpful for cultivation appeared on the surrounding screens. Ho Chi nodded in satisfaction and turned to look at the information of these 24 gene fragments. 
the introduction of the remaining gene fragments only talked about their respective functions. After reading it, he also learned the secret why the strong body grass can help refine the body. It turns out that during the growth process, the strong body grass can absorb a special type of energy from the universe, which can stimulate chi and blood. In order to prevent other animals from eating it, they accumulate this energy. Once other animals eat too much, the accumulated energy will stimulate their chi and blood, which will make them fight against each other or attract other carnivorous animals to eliminate these animals. This is its unique feature, designed to protect its evolved abilities. Unfortunately, when encountering humans, they do not directly consume strong body herbs, but instead use them to make medicinal liquids, which are used to stimulate chi and blood, thus achieving the goal of cultivation. After learning about these, Ho Chi said to the crystal, graft the 24 genes of the strong body grass onto the genes of the water cloud rice. At this point, Ho Chi's front two panels began to overlap. I saw the above statement. Operation is risky, do you confirm the operation? First level energy is 98 quarks. Ho Chi widened his eyes. Just now, he had 100 quarks of energy, but how could he lose two quarks out of thin air? Thinking about operating it on his own just now, Ho Chi understood that having the modifier pick out genes that are helpful for cultivation consumes energy. There's no way, if he finds it himself, I don't know how much time it will take for the medicine. Looking at the prompt on the panel, Ho Chi directly clicked, yes, and saw a flash of light. The panel displays, new species, formed by the fusion of two plants. Please name it. First level energy is 35 quarks. Ho Chi looked at the panel and burst out laughing. Success. I knew I would definitely succeed. Strong body rice is called strong body rice. On the panel, there was a flash of strong body rice, a plant of the Poaceae family, with a growth cycle of 50 days. It can evolve and be modified. The first level energy is 300 quarts, and the second level energy is 100 quarts. Ho Chi rubbed his eyes and looked carefully. It was 300 quarts of first level energy and 100 quarts of second level energy. How could this be? This feedback has a bit too much energy. At this moment, another set of words appeared in front of him, roughly meaning to provide a way of thinking and feedback secondary energy of 100 quarks. Ho Chi finally understood that it was a hybridization method and received feedback from the Divine Tree Empire, which he did not expect. But he doesn't care about it now, as long as there is energy. He looked at the panel of the strong rice, which had a growth cycle of 50 days, which was a bit long for him who lacked time. Seeing that the energy was still sufficient, Ho Chi said to the panel, find the genes that contribute to the growth cycle of strong rice. The surrounding screen immediately left 16 fragments of genes, which are the growth control genes of strong rice. Ho Chi saw that the energy on the panel was indeed reduced by two quarks. There are only 298 quarks left in the first level energy. Ho Chi said to the panel, optimize the growth cycle without affecting the effect. As soon as the panel flashed, the optimization option appeared. After Ho Chi clicked, please choose the energy level below appeared a 1 and a 2. Ho Chi chose 1 without hesitation. With a flash of light, the panel had turned into a strong rice, a plant of the Poaceae family, with a growth cycle of 25 days. The first level energy is 245 quarts, and the second level energy is 100 quarts. Optimizing one growth cycle directly consumed 53 quarts of energy, and Ho Chi sighed that the energy was really not enough. We need to find a way to earn energy, but the primary problem now is to convert all the seeds of Shueyun rice into strong rice. This is relatively simple, just place the seeds on the crystals in the transformed space and spend some energy. After leaving the renovation space, Ho Chi looked at the time, only a few seconds later, indicating that the time in the space, UU reading www.uukangshu.net, and the outside world were not synchronized. He not only exclaimed about what level 8 civilization really is like. Not only do we yearn for it, 
but we must also go to the Divine Tree Empire if we have the opportunity to experience this great civilization. Taking the bag of water cloud rice seeds, Ho Chi's mind moved and he returned to the renovation space. However, when he saw the seeds floating in a ball, the bag was gone. Ho Chi's heart twitched as all the seeds drifted towards the crystal in the middle. A panel appeared in front of him. It was written, Do you want to assimilate all plant seeds? Just as I was about to choose, yes, I remembered that there were also seeds of the strong body grass on the crystal, so I quickly took the seeds of the strong body grass. Otherwise, if assimilation fails or consumes a lot of energy, Ho Chi will not lose out. After taking it away, I chose to assimilate all the seeds. Looking at the panel again, there are still 240 quarks of energy left in the first level, which means that the energy consumed by assimilating seeds is only 5 quarks. It seems that I need to explore more about the running rules of the modifier myself, otherwise it would waste energy and I don't know. Now these energies can only be feedback from the Divine Tree Empire. What if the energy is used up or not feedback? Whether alternative energy can be found or not is a matter. Fortunately, the feedback energy from my own hybridization method is sufficient, otherwise I might have really fallen for it. Looking at the seeds of the strong rice, Ho Chi took them out of the modification space and indeed the seeds appeared in the bag. He opened it again and took a closer look. It was indeed like the seeds of the strong rice in the space that he finally felt relieved. No further delay, put the seeds on the cedar. Return to the room, open the control terminal, and start the seeding program. Ho Chi went out to take another look and saw that the cedar had already started working, which finally relieved him. At this moment, there was a sound in his stomach, and Ho Chi remembered that he had not eaten all day. Watching the planter automatically start sowing, Ho Chi turned around and walked towards the kitchen, these past twenty days, we still have to eat water, clouds, and rice. 7. Take a break from school and practice hard. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After preparing the meal, Ho Chi took it back to noon and watched as the control terminal sowed seeds while eating. Today was the first meal I had in my own territory, and Ho Chi finished all the food. Looking at the machinery being sewn, Ho Chi ran over and actually watched until the sewing was completed. The bag of seeds given by Butler Lee may be slightly insufficient for Ho Chi's several acres of land, but the sewing opportunities are arranged sparsely based on the data from the control terminal. So this time, Ho Chi's sewing may have been a bit sparse, but it would be good if there was a harvest. After everything was arranged, Ho Chi returned to his room. Even if he practiced and refined qi in blood now, there would be no effect. Because he does not have the resources to generate qi in blood, if he forcibly refines qi in blood, it may damage his own foundation. The development of federal entertainment has been extremely slow, and even songs and the like are only welcomed as helpful for cultivation. Other entertainment activities unrelated to cultivation have no room for survival. So Ho Chi sometimes misses everything about Earth immensely at Muyun Star, when his spiritual life was rich. Unlike now when there are no entertainment activities, the terminals only display some achievements and situations from the Federal Front. These are too far away from Ho Chi. As far as he knows, Ho Ren Hui, the ancestor of the Ho family, is on the front line competing for resources with the cosmic race. The Blade Clan it's been decades since I came back. Ho Chi also wants to see the universe of all races, provided that you have the cultivation level of the Yuan Shen realm. The night fell on time, and Ho Chi lay in bed feeling incredibly relaxed because it was his own house, his own bed. According to federal law, no one can reclaim it now unless they give up on their own. Perhaps there were too many things that happened all day today, and without realizing it, Ho Chi fell asleep listening to the sound of distant waves. Before going to bed, I thought to myself, go to school tomorrow and tell the homeroom teacher that I won't go for the time being. I'll just practice here and watch the growth of the strong rice. In the morning, Ho Chi woke up and saw that it was already past 7 o'clock. Oh no, I'll be late for school. 
without considering anything else, I ran out. When he arrived at the yard, Ho Chi stopped and thought that he was going to take a temporary leave of absence, so he was not in a hurry. By the time Ho Chi arrived at the school, the first class had already ended. The daily cultural courses in public high schools are to teach some common knowledge about interstellar space. Understand the common races in the universe and some of their characteristics. Another thing is to have an understanding of some cultivation resources, so as not to encounter them again in the future. It's better to say that the most famous body strengthening herb of Muyun Star, Huyen Star closest to Muyun Star, produces a mineral called Huomang. Huomang, like body strengthening herb, is very helpful for cultivation. These Ho Chi had already memorized them by heart, so not attending cultural classes meant little to him. In the afternoon, it's time to practice martial arts. The guidance teacher here has already taught what needs to be taught, and the rest is for personal cultivation. Schools sometimes allocate some resources to provide students with better qualifications and faster cultivation in order to ensure that the admission rate is not too unattractive. You can also seek school guarantees for loan resources. After evaluation, it is believed that you can start a family and the school is still willing to invest. But these have nothing to do with Ho Chi. After he was 10 years old, he thought of all possible solutions, but with the eldest lady blocking him, everything was in vain. So he can only work hard to learn cultural knowledge to prove that he is not a fool. There are about 49 students in the sixth class where Ho Chi works, half male and half female. After being in the same class for so many years, Ho Chi has always been a little transparent. At first, some people mocked and bullied him, but later on, everyone else's cultivation has increased. He has been practicing leather for several years, just like before, and has not made any progress. He always ranks last in every martial arts exam. Those who bullied him lost interest in bullying him. However, Ho Chi also has a good friend in class, who is sitting at the same table and named Hilan. When Ho Chi arrived at the classroom, he found that there were only three or four people and thought they had all gone out. Walking to his seat, he saw Hilan still sleeping. First, tidy up your own table. Wake up Hilan. Lao He, don't sleep. Hilan opened her eyes and glanced at Ho Chi, saying, Monkey, where did you go yesterday? You only came now, don't disturb me. I went on a date with my dream lover all night last night. Ho Chi looked at him and said, It's a woman who's your dream lover. Who are you talking about? Hilan woke up at this moment and said seriously, My dream lover is only Meng Yuran. Don't insult my taste. After a moment, he continued, Monkey, you still don't know. Meng Yuran has come to our Muyun star these days, invited by the governor, and there will be two concerts. Most of the teachers and classmates from this school have gone to join the fun. Ho Chi then realized why there were so few people in the class. Why didn't you go? It's not like your style. Ho Chi asked. They can't even enter the concert venue even if they go, they're still outside. I'm not going. Let me show you something good, He Lan said humbly. She picked up her personal terminal, opened the screen, and handed it to Ho Chi. Ho Chi looked at it and saw that the entire screen of the terminal was full of dreams. There are various postures available. He Lan said, how about it? It's not as good as going to see the scene. I spent 1,500 credit points on it. I envy it. Upon hearing this, Ho Chi immediately said, Lao He, 1,500 credit points, you're crazy. Where did you come from? He Lan put on an expression of, you know what you're talking about, and said, this is all my savings from childhood to adulthood, but it's really worth it. With an intoxicated expression, he finished speaking. Ho Chi was not interested in Dream Yuran and said to He Lan, there are still a few months left until the college entrance exam. What are your plans? Helen smiled bitterly and said, I no longer have any hope. I am the second to last in age, with a peak cultivation in the middle of my skin training period, and I cannot even get into any university. 
However, I plan to join the army. As soon as Ho Chi heard that Hilan was going to join the army, he immediately said, you've come up with a plan. Joining the army with cultivation like ours is the cannon fodder in the cannon fodder. The mortality rate has reached 90%. You can't joke with your own life. Hilan said, I know, but what can we do? When we get to the army, we can at least have some resources. If I'm lucky, I might get some high dot level genius treasures. That way, I can also kill everyone like my idol. Ho Chi knew that the idol Hilan was referring to was Yi Xianzong, the commander of the 4th Army of the Federal Army on the Northern Front. The rise of Yi Xianzong was full of drama. He was also among the last few in high school, but after graduating from high school, he joined the army and was assigned to the 4th Army. At that time, the 4th Army was engaged in combat with the alien tribe. The Hunmu tribe. On a planet that produced sparks. The Hunmu tribe wants to destroy all the Mu sparks, because the people of the Hunmu tribe have hard bodies that are difficult to damage. Only those who specialize in the flame technique in the Yuan Shan realm can cause damage to them. Moreover, Mu spark is a genius treasure for practicing the fire technique. It can be imagined that the two tribes have engaged in a great war for their respective purposes. At that time, Yi Xianzong was also sent to the battlefield and was injured and unconscious during the battle. Coincidentally, I ate the Muhua Flower King. In one fell swoop, he broke through to the Yuan Shan realm, and in the following years, he also relied on the blaze technique to break through to the Fun Shan realm, becoming a hero promoted by the Federation's endpoint. However, Yi Xianzong's opportunities were extremely rare, so Ho Chi wanted to persuade Hilan again, after all, a friend. But Hilan had already anticipated it. Continuing, you still care and care about yourself. You don't even have a chance to join the military, Ho Chi said with a bitter smile, okay, I won't say it anymore. There is a personal fate. I came here to inform my homeroom teacher that I am preparing to take a leave of absence until before the college entrance examination. I will take advantage of these months to work hard. Upon hearing this, Helen said, Monkey, we all want to work hard, but what about resources? Without credit points, without resources is nothing. Ho Chi said, I still have a credit point left by my mother here, and I plan to use it. I believe my mother's power in heaven can be understood. Helen patted Ho Chi's shoulder but didn't speak. When Ho Chi was about to leave, he said, Monkey, I won't take the college entrance examination anymore. Joining the military is a bit early. Wait for me to develop and come back to let you hold your thighs. Ho Chi said, It's settled, Lao He, take care, and then went to find the homeroom teacher. I explained my purpose to the homeroom teacher, and he only mentioned that I remember to come for the college entrance examination. I agreed to Ho Chi's application for leave of absence. Ho Chi is not the beginning of this matter. Many students choose to take a leave of absence to compete or simply not attend. After finishing his school leave, Ho Chi took the credit point left by his mother, Pang Fuping, to the resource exchange on the planet. This is the official agency of the federal government. Although the price is slightly expensive, we are not afraid of being deceived. Ho Chi exchanged 38,000 credit points for the strengthening herbal liquid, which can barely cultivate resources for a month. At that time, my strong rice had already matured, let's see the effect of comparing the two sides. Returning to his own territory, Ho Chi began his asceticism and had no time to waste. Imagine Helan, someone similar to Helan, and he feels that he is already good enough. 8. Harvest, Break Through the Meat Training Period You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. There are only a few thousand credit points left in my mother's chip, but I finally have temporary resources for cultivation. In this way, Ho Chi not only eats, but also takes care of his few acres of land for cultivation. The effect of strengthening herbal liquid is strong, and after six days, Ho Chi broke through to the late stage of skin training. Now as soon as you practice, your skin will immediately turn golden, which is the manifestation of golden skin in the later stage of skin training. 
this is easy to recognize. During the early stage of skin cultivation, the skin turns black-brown, which is called black skin. During the middle stage of skin training, the skin appears copper-red in color, and this stage is called copper skin. In the later stage of skin care, after breaking through, the skin appears golden, and this stage is called golden skin. At the golden skin stage, it was basically difficult to damage with ordinary swords. After practicing at golden skin, Ho Chi tried to cut himself with a vegetable cutting knife. The pain was quite painful, but it did not break, leaving only a white mark. This greatly boosted Ho Chi's confidence, but the consumption rate of the medicinal liquid of the body strengthening grass was much faster than he expected. He doesn't know what's going on either. Thinking of, am I very qualified? You should know that he has never used body strengthening herbal liquid before. When he bought it, he bought it according to the amount that the school's top students usually use. It was originally a month's worth, but at the current consumption rate, it may take more than half a month and then it will be gone. Looking out of the room, the strong bodied rice in the field is already one foot tall, but the modifier shows that their growth knife harvest period is 25 days. That time is absolutely accurate, which means that according to this progress, he has almost 10 days without resources to practice. He thought about using the second level energy of the modifier for cultivation, but he forcefully suppressed this idea because he knew the preciousness of the second level energy. And I don't know when the next second level energy acquisition will be. Looking at the thousands of credit points on his mother's chip, I'm afraid it may not be enough for him to practice for a few days. Ho Chi sneered bitterly, being too talented is also troublesome. There's no way, let's talk when we run out of resources. During his free time these days, Ho Chi browsed through the information on the terminal and was completely overwhelmed by Dream Uran. The top one says, after singing Dream Uran's song, Deep Space, three people immediately broke through from the peak of their internal energy to the realm of the primordial spirit. Ho Chi wanted to listen and see if it was so magical. Unfortunately, I listened to it once on the terminal and it was just like that. There's nothing special about it. Ho Chi realized that he might not have been there to listen and couldn't hear anything. The tedious cultivation is still ongoing, but Ho Chi La is in it. On the tenth day, when Ho Chi was practicing, the golden color of his skin quietly faded away, which also marked that Ho Chi's skin was about to reach its peak, but his physical strength would increase by a thousand pounds. Watching himself enter the realm of cultivation, Ho Chi believed that with sufficient resources, he could definitely achieve great physical fitness in the short term. However, Ho Chi will not be proud. As far as he knows, Ho Guohan, who is one year younger than him in the Ho family, has already achieved the initial cultivation of muscle training. Ho Ching Fang is the same age as herself and it is said that she is also a practitioner of muscle training. I can see that I am far behind. However, at this speed, as long as there are enough resources, it will be sooner or later for oneself to catch up with them. Ho Chi also knows his cheap big brother. The eldest son of the Ho family, Ho Guakai, has reached the pinnacle of his wealth and is the pride of the entire Ho family. He is the proud son and influential figure of Hanwen University. He is his goal. Ho Chi thought of this and looked forward to the strong-bodied rice that had already grown ears outside. For days passed like this, and the golden skin of Ho Chi's cultivation had completely faded away. When practicing martial arts now, there is nothing unusual, just like not practicing. This greatly exceeded Ho Chi's expectations. He knows very well that his qualifications are not very good. Otherwise, Ho Ching Fong had eaten quite a bit of the spiritual flesh and fruit from the beginning. He could have reached the later stage of skin training, but unfortunately, it only reached the middle stage for several years. What about now? It has been less than half a month since he took a break from school, and he has broken through three small boundaries in a row. This is clearly abnormal, most likely due to a significant improvement in one's own qualifications. Recently, my biggest achievement has been obtaining a plant gene modifier. Did I change my qualifications when merging with the modifier? 
It must be like this, but it's a good thing, so Ho Chi has more capital and confidence. Looking at the remaining body strengthening herbal liquid that is only enough for a day's use. Ho Chi calculated that there are still 11 days of strong rice to mature. This way, I will have 10 days to practice. There's no way, I don't have any connections. Even if I apply for a loan at school now, as I approach further education, the school will definitely not approve it. Ho Chi had already thought about it, and he had the seeds of the strong body grass here. Taking advantage of the remaining 10 days, he happened to be carefully studying the genes of the strong body grass in the modification space. If we can figure out why it cannot survive if transplanted to other planets. I believe this will be of great help to myself. In the past life on Earth, there was a saying that, if an orange grows in Huainan, it is called orange, if an orange grows in Huaibei, it is called orange, which was caused by the natural environment. However, the environment of the federal researcher, Momo Cloud Star, is also different. Ho Chi wants to see if he can identify the cause through genetics. The next day, Ho Chi looked at the medicine liquid that had turned into clear water and felt a surge of emotion. He felt like he had almost broken through to the meat training period. Unfortunately, there are no resources left. Shaking his head, Ho Chi knew that this was an illusion brought about by his short dot term breakthrough and strength growth. To break through the meat training period, it would take at least a few more days. Ho Chi decided to take a good day off and practice the basic boxing taught by the school. Ho Chi originally believed that it was similar to radio gymnastics in his previous life, mainly for physical activity. However, after completing his skin training and increasing his strength by a thousand pounds, Ho Chi continued to practice basic boxing techniques, feeling that each punch was incredibly powerful. I don't know if it was because Ho Chi couldn't unleash the power of his boxing skills, or if his strength has now greatly increased the power of his basic boxing skills. Anyway, practicing basic martial arts now is beneficial for oneself and can help him adapt to the rapidly increasing strength as soon as possible. After a good day of relaxation, Ho Chi lay in bed this time, holding the seeds of the strong body grass and entering the space of the modifier. Place the seed on the middle crystal, and all the gene fragments of the strong body grass immediately appear on the surrounding screen. On the panel in front of Ho Chi, it still displayed, strong body grass, herbaceous plant with a 180-day growth cycle, can evolve and modify. The current first level energy is 240 quartz, and the second level energy is 100 quartz. Looking at this panel, Ho Chi said, check the gene fragments of strong body grass in sequence. The panel showed, there are about 500,000 gene fragments of strong body grass. Do you want to check them in sequence? Ho Chi chose, yes, and the first gene fragment appeared on the panel. Ho Chi looked at it seriously, and when he felt that his eyes couldn't keep up, he left room for modification. It has been half a day since we last saw it. By carefully observing Ho Chi, we know that most of the gene fragments record the plant's race, breeding cycle, growth, reproduction, and withering process. This accounts for over 80% of genes. The rest are some characteristics of plants. Unfortunately, after watching for a while, I didn't find anything special about the strong body grass. With 500,000 gene fragments like this, Ho Chi didn't even finish reading them when the strong body rice was ripe and harvested. However, it was not without any discoveries, and he was not sure if it was due to the reasons he saw that the strong grass could not be transplanted. But let's talk about it later. After waiting for a full nine days, the strong rice finally matured on the 25th day after planting. It seems that the time given by the modifier is accurate, which is a manifestation of genes. Control the harvester at the terminal and carry out harvesting. In less than half an hour, all the strong rice had been harvested. After leaving the seeds, Ho Chi excitedly controlled the terminal settings and proceeded with the operation of rice threshing. Don't forget to mechanically crush the rice stalks and plow them into the soil. After everything was done, Yu Yu read a book and sat in front of the control terminal waiting for feedback on the results. In no time, 
the control terminal finally transmitted the total weight of the harvest, 11,200 pounds of strong rice. Ho Chi looked at the number and burst into laughter, tears streaming down his face. For both my past self and my mother. When his mood calmed down, Ho Chi couldn't wait to go to the nearby warehouse. Thinking of something, he first went to the kitchen to get a bowl. When he entered the warehouse, he looked at the small mountains of strong rice piled up in the corner of the wall. Ho Chi immediately took a bowl and turned back to the kitchen. Without worrying about washing the rice, pour the rice from the bowl into the pot and start steaming. After steaming for about half an hour, it still smelled like the aroma of water cloud rice. At this moment, Ho Chi felt uneasy and hopeful in his heart, but he was still nervous until he received the result. However, he has confidence in plant gene modifiers. After the rice was cooked, Ho Chi didn't care how hot it was, so he immediately served a bowl and started eating it with a spoon. Compared to Shui Yun rice, Jiangshan rice has much larger grains and the clouds in the middle are not visible, but the taste is still the same as Shui Yun rice. After finishing a bowl, Ho Chi immediately sat down to refine his qi and blood. This time, with one stroke of cultivation, qi and blood appeared like a tide, and Ho Chi suppressed the joy in his heart. Using this qi and blood to impact the meat training period, in the past, qi and blood washed through the skin with the technique, but now the skin training has been completed and has become tough. When qi and blood reached the skin, they were blocked back. Ho Chi immediately used the techniques of the meat training period to bind this qi and blood towards the muscles of his arms. When it arrived, qi and blood began to refine the muscles of his arms. As the muscles of his arms became tighter, the muscle fibers began to thicken. When the qi and blood were depleted and the muscles in his arms were not fully refined, Ho Chi roared up to express his excitement, as he had already reached the meat cultivation period and resources were no longer an obstacle to cultivation. 9. Testing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Looking at about a bowl of rice in the pot, Ho Chi Sheng started eating it again. After finishing the meal, it is important to refine the qi and blood, and then use it to refine the muscles. It is important to know that refining the body is the most important foundation of cultivation, and every step must be done to the extreme. A person's body has approximately 639 muscles, involving various parts of the body. Qi and blood refining is the process of refining muscles so that they no longer consume qi and blood, and can be considered as complete refining. Compared to the energy and blood consumed by practicing skin, practicing meat requires much more. Now Ho Chi is not lacking in resources, what he needs to do is to cultivate diligently. However, during the cultivation process, although the effect of body strengthening rice is much stronger than that of body strengthening grass, it is necessary to consume it every time to refine qi and blood, unlike body strengthening grass which is formulated into a medicinal liquid. At the same time as soaking, one can refine qi and blood. This is really tough for Ho Chi, although after every meal, he doesn't feel flustered because he needs to refine his qi and blood. However, the number of times to use the large account has significantly increased. Originally, it was once a day, but now it has increased to five or six times a day. There is even an upward trend, and it is impossible to eat more as Ho Chi's strength increases. Fortunately, it's him now, otherwise he would definitely be ridiculed. Ho Chi thought to himself that when he entered university, he must plant spiritual creatures without any impurities. After more than 10 days of cultivation, Ho Chi has made tremendous progress, having already gained over 200 pieces of meat, mainly in the muscles of his limbs. He plans to first refine his limbs before refining his body and head. Of course, the consumption of resources is also astonishing. The harvested strong rice has already consumed more than one dot third, about 4,000 kilograms. Ho Chi calculated that it has been a total of 12 days since his harvest, so he eats about 300 kilograms of rice every day. If we put it in our past lives, it would be a fantasy. But Ho Chi did consume so much. After more than a month of cultivation, 
his originally thin face looked much rounder and his height also grew significantly. Today, Ho Chi stopped practicing and had no choice but to put the farm manure he had produced over the past ten days into the field. I can't accumulate too much. Mu Yunxing's technology is much more advanced than in his previous life, but he also does not have machinery for handling feces. Originally, when he was at the Ho family, there was a dedicated sewer that was not needed to be managed, but he could only handle it himself here. Ho Chi plans to plant strong rice for the second time, and these farmyard fertilizers come in handy. He didn't have a gas mask here, so he had to make a mask himself. After using it for over an hour, he finally managed to get his things into the ground. Ho Chi plans to air dry for a day, then plow again tomorrow and sow seeds. This planting speed is not afraid of damaging the ground and does not affect one's cultivation. In fact, he was overthinking. He followed the methods used on Earth in his previous life, but the Mu Yun star universe is rich and the soil is already strong. Continuous cultivation does not affect the harvest at all. However, Ho Chi is not very clear about these because no one has ever told him. After finishing it, Ho Chi doesn't plan to leave the house today. The smell outside is really not very pleasant. Coincidentally, I am practicing qi and blood in the room to continue my cultivation. Just as I was about to start practicing, a message was uploaded from my personal terminal. It turned out that the homeroom teacher told him that all the graduating classes of high schools in Ho Ching will undergo martial arts tests tomorrow, and as a reference for university admissions, he must arrive at school at 9 o'clock in the morning, otherwise it will be considered as giving up. Ho Chi is strange. In previous years, only the results of the college entrance examination were used as a reference. On Muyin Star, there are over 300 universities, which basically belong to three forces. One is a federal public university, which is located in every city on Muyin Star. The second is the federal military academies, which belong to the federal military and are specialized in training military personnel. The third is private universities jointly established by major families. It is nominally under federal jurisdiction, but most of the students studying inside are children from various families. Occasionally, there is a particularly outstanding individual among the common people who is favored by various families. In previous years, there was only one entrance exam, which included both a literary exam and a martial arts test. After the results are released, apply to your desired university based on your own scores. Of course, the most common people apply to federal universities, but the resources within these universities are limited. However, as long as you can make contributions or make outstanding contributions, the federal resources are also the most abundant. The majority of military academies are also civilians, as well as military children. Entering a military academy may provide the best training, but the rules are naturally the strictest, and after graduation, one must go to the front line to fight, resulting in the highest mortality rate. Private universities have the most resources and may not have the best practices, but safety is the key to success. The cultivation may also be different, and private universities cultivate elites. However, private universities have the lowest mortality rate, and very few top talents are produced. However, the various families of Mu Yunxing will absorb outstanding talents from the common people into their own families, ensuring the long-lasting prosperity of their own families. I don't know why there are still two months left until the college entrance examination this year, so I'm starting the test now. There's nothing I can do. It seems like I need to go back to school tomorrow. Continuing to practice today, I only practiced over 200 pieces of meat now. Before I took a break from school, Lu Guotao, the highest cultivation in the class, had already practiced nearly 500 pieces of meat. This is still in their class. In the first few classes, each class had a few dirty trainees. Ho Chi was once again caught up in a cycle of eating and practicing, followed by eating and practicing, with time to go to the bathroom in between. By the time he went to bed at night, his total amount of meat practice had reached 234 yuan, achieving remarkable results. 
The next morning, Ho Chi got up at six o'clock. There was nothing he could do, otherwise he wouldn't have made it to school by nine o'clock. His place was too remote. After finishing breakfast and looking at the almost dried fertilizer, Ho Chi thought to himself, you can start farming when you come back. If it weren't for the importance of going to college, he wouldn't have gone. Unfortunately, it's not possible for him to work alone. Okay, by the way, how's Helan doing? If he knew his current strength, would he drop his chin to the ground? Ho Chi walked out the door and headed towards the location where there was a car. However, after practicing meat, his speed increased significantly. The distance that used to take an hour to reach was now only half an hour. When Ho Chi arrived at school, it was only a little over eight o'clock and he went to see the homeroom teacher first. After seeing Ho Chi, the homeroom teacher said, Ho Chi, this is a very important test, and I hope you can achieve good results. After finishing, she gave him a number, and Ho Chi looked at it as number 49, the last number. The homeroom teacher continued, you were the last one to come, so it's the last one. All right, you go to the classroom first. Someone will notify you during the test. After the homeroom teacher finished speaking, Ho Chi said, Could you please, I'll go first, Teacher Lee. As he walked out of the homeroom teacher's office, he was still wondering, what's going on today? The homeroom teacher seems to be very talkative now. On the way, I heard someone say, Do you know? Today, a big shot is coming to our school. I know there is a martial arts test in my graduation class today, but I haven't heard of any big shots coming to our school. I also heard people say that it seems like some minister from the federal government. Why did the minister come to us? Don't talk nonsense. Why is that nonsense? If you don't believe me, I'll know when the martial arts test starts later. Ho Chi now understood that it was the federation who was coming. No wonder the homeroom teacher speaks in such a tone. He is afraid that someone will take this opportunity to embarrass him. After all, these teachers usually praise and trample on him. But none of this concerns Ho Chi. Arriving at his own classroom, this time the whole class arrived. When Ho Chi entered the classroom, everyone looked at him. I always feel like there's something different about him, but the test is coming up and I'm very nervous so I didn't care. I just heard someone whispering, isn't this the number one place in a thousand years? Why did he come here? Did he lose face? All right, you mind him, let's just think about it. There are still two months left, isn't there? How come we test it now? If we give me another two months, I might reach the advanced level of practicing meat, and my martial arts can also increase a lot. Now I can only rely on fate. I can't give you another year. But I heard that someone from the Federation came to have this test. Ho Chi walked straight to his seat, and as expected, Helen beside him was still sleeping. After waking him up, Ho Chi said, You sleep all day, how can you join the army? Helen was still very happy to see Ho Chi. Upon hearing him say this, Helen exclaimed, Hee hee, you don't know, I've already registered successfully. I'll be leaving in a few days. Ho Chi didn't think he was joking and said, Really? That unit? Confidentiality. So you came to test today? Ho Chi was surprised. According to theory, those who signed up to join the army would hardly come back to school. As a result, He Lan sneered, Today, dream you came to our school, and I must come. Being able to have close contact with my goddess will make this life without regrets. Ho Chi asked, How did you know? I heard it's from the Federation. Helen said, Don't believe it, wait and see. At this moment, a message came from the door, Class 6, are you ready? This test will start from your class first. After finishing speaking, I left and the rest of the class was stunned. 10. Full Strength, Fist Power you are listening at NovelFull.audio. When everyone comes to their senses, the whole class is boiling up. How could we start from our class? Aren't we the worst class? This is for us to show our shame and be like green leaves to others. 
I'm not ready yet, thinking about the end. I'm not in a hurry, what should I do now? At this moment, Lu Guodong stood up and said, starting from us, starting from us. What are you afraid of? What's the difference between the first and last? After speaking, the first one walked out. Ho Chi was looking forward to the end soon. Seeing that his classmates had already left one after another, he said to Helen, let's go, finish the test early, and go home early. Helen was quite positive this time and quickly said, let's go, let's go, let's go see my goddess. Our martial arts test has nothing to do with Dream Urine's 800 poles. What is she doing here? You're crazy, right? Ho Chi didn't know what Helen's brain was thinking, so he stopped talking to him. Helen whispered behind him, I'm telling you, don't you believe me? The testing place was on the playground, and by the time Ho Chi and his team walked onto it, the surroundings were already full of people. Isn't it just a test for the graduation class? How could there be so many people? However, as he approached, he heard the name Dream Yu Ran in his ear, and Ho Chi couldn't help but look back at Hilan. Hilan also looked up arrogantly, as if saying, Praise me quickly. Ho Chi found a position to stand, he is on the 49th, the last one. Just stand in line and wait. Helen walked over and said, How about my goddess coming? Can you, can't you? Ho Chi knew that if he didn't praise him, Helan's mouth wouldn't stop. Sure enough, Helan heard Ho Chi praising him, although a bit perfunctory, she still happily said, For other things, I may not be concerned, but for Dream Uran, the news from my friend is the most spiritual. After speaking, he still had a confident expression on his face. Then he said, Do you know why she came to our school this time? Seeing that Ho Chi remained silent, He Lan said to herself, The one who came to our school this time is a major general from the military department, Wei Hai Chang. The reason why the school came for such a test is also to show Wei Hai Chang the cultivation of students in public schools. In order to increase the number of enrollment in the military school. However, it is obvious that Wei Hai Chang came to oversee the enrollment of this military school, but in reality, he is pursuing Meng Yuran for personal gain. It depends on the situation, Meng Yuran doesn't really dislike him, so he didn't even come to our school with him. After listening, Ho Chi asked, How did so many schools come to our school? He Lan gave Ho Chi a deep glance and said, Wei Hai Chang's grandfather and your grandfather are close friends in life and death. That's why he chose Ho Ching first. As for coming to our school, it's just a show. Ho Chi fell silent, he didn't want to mention the whole family at all. Sure enough, at this moment, bursts of cheers came from ahead, not to mention that it must be Meng Yu Ran and the others had arrived. They can't see the specific situation behind them either. Helen saw Ho Chi's calm face and remained silent. In no time, the homeroom teacher walked over and said, The test has started. Do you know who came this time? It's Major General Wei Hai Chang from the Federal Military Department, who is in charge of enrollment for this year's military academy. There are also enrollment directors from various universities on Muyun Star, and people from various families have also been sent. Therefore, Although this test is not a formal exam, it is also an important reference. It is a once.in.a.lifetime opportunity. You must show your strongest strength. After the homeroom teacher finished speaking, he left. Then another teacher came and took them to the middle of the playground. At this moment, I heard the teacher say, Number one, you can go up and test. Sure enough, Ho Chi saw Lu Guodong walking out. As he walked towards the punch strength testing machine in front, the teacher said, you can punch continuously with both hands, a total of ten punches, or one punch. Do you understand? Lu Guodong said, I understand. All right, let's start, he said and walked back. Lu Guodong stood in front of the tester, held his breath, shouted loudly, punched the tester, and then stopped making the second punch. He heard the tester report, fist strength of 10,009 pounds, early stage of muscle training. The teacher walked over with a smile on his face and said, 
All right, let's go back. Obviously, he was very satisfied with this grade. Then he said, Next, number two. After Lu Guodong returned, he looked proud and quite satisfied with his ability to break through the meat training. At this point, the score of the second number also came out, fist strength 5,219 pounds, mid-stage meat training. Then came the third and fourth numbers, but they tested more than 30, mostly in the early stage meat training, mid-stage meat training, and even in the later stage, there were very few. It was soon on the 37th when Helen said, it's my turn, I'm going. After that, she walked to the front of the tester. Most of the students just punched each other, but Helen stood still and continued to punch the tester with her left and right fists. After ten punches, he was a bit panting, indicating that he had used all his strength. Fist strength is 3,200 pounds, in the early stage of practicing meat. Helen smiled and walked back when she saw the results. He said to Ho Chi, how's it going? Brother's progress is great. Ho Chi was also surprised. He knew that Helen's cultivation was a bit higher than him. In the later stage of skin training, he didn't expect it to be the early stage of meat training now. So he asked, how come you cultivate so quickly? Helan said, my parents knew I wanted to join the military and put all my savings into it. It was only then that I made so much progress. They didn't want me to join the military and wanted me to go to college, but what about the resources behind it? So I still want to join the military and earn my own resources. Ho Chi said, congratulations, you're in the early stages of practicing meat. As they spoke, it was almost Ho Chi's turn. At this moment, Ho Chi glanced at the podium. Sure enough, sitting in the middle was a person wearing a major general's uniform, and to the left was a woman wearing sunglasses. The person sitting on the right made Ho Chi frown, he was too familiar. It is his father in this lifetime, Ho Chuan Jiang. Ho Chi immediately lowered his head and arrived at him. He walked over without any hesitation and just punched. It seems that the tester in front is Ho Chuan Jiang, only hearing 7,068 pounds of fist power, late stage meat training. After achieving results, Ho Chi quickly returned to his position. At this moment, their classmates were once again caught in surprise, more shocked than Lu Guodong's breakthrough into the muscle training period. Heelan stuttered and asked, What is your punching power? It's over 7,000, isn't it because the machine is broken? Ho Chi said, is it because you're making progress, but not because I'm making progress. But your cultivation growth is also too fast, where do you get the resources? Ho Chi whispered, I used it, my mother left me a credit point. The two of them spoke as if they were alone. Lu Guodong and his team were also shocked. They were ranked last for thousands of years and suddenly ranked among the top. They couldn't figure it out. Another person who was even more shocked was Ho Chi's homeroom teacher. He ran to the teacher in charge of recording grades, looked at their class grades, especially Ho Chi's, and said to the teacher, Teacher Wang, the tester won't break in the end. There's a problem with this grade. What's the problem? Teacher Wang asked when he said this, how could this Ho Chi possibly be in the late stage of meat training? Let me tell you, Teacherly, there is no problem with the testing instrument. Everyone's grades are real. If there are any problems, we can wait until the test is finished. I need to quickly send your class's grades to the podium. There are still five classes to test. Teacher Wang said and walked towards the podium. The remaining homeroom teacher was shocked and stood on the playground, muttering incessantly. Then he walked quickly towards Ho Chi and the others. He walked straight to Ho Chi and asked, Ho Chi, what is your cultivation level now? Ho Chi was talking to Hilan, explaining that when his homeroom teacher came over to ask him, he said, in the later stage of practicing meat, it's time. It's really the late stage of meat training. Didn't the grades over there come out? I'm really in the late stages of my training. When the homeroom teacher asked Ho Chidi, teacher Wang had already handed over the grades of class 6 to the principal. 
After receiving the results, the principal immediately walked over to Wei Haichang's back and whispered, General Wei, take a look at the test results of class 6 this time. Is there anything you like? Wei Haichang was chatting with Ho Chuanjiang and Meng Yuran, full of enthusiasm. When interrupted, he felt very angry. However, thinking of the reason he had told Meng Yuran when he came, he had to take it over. He only glanced at it and said, apart from Lu Guodong, there's nothing useful. At this moment, Chuan Zhang suddenly said, Old Wei, this Lu Guodong was the first one that our whole family wanted, and we had already signed an agreement with him. You're late. Wei Haichang heard Ho Chuan Zhang say this and handed him his score sheet, saying, Ha ha, who are we with? He's just a slightly better qualified talent. Ho Chuanjiang took the transcript and said, of course, when it comes to real talents, who can match the military? We're just investing in advance. As he spoke, he looked at the list and his eyes narrowed when he saw Ho Chi's name at the end. He said calmly, not bad, and then put the list away.